see, I've only got 24 hours or so here in Luxembourg, and it's hard for me to get out of some of these uh, areas that have all the cafes and bars and restaurants and everything, because some of them are really great. The food is great, people are nice, the atmosphere is nice, the weather is fantastic today, especially for Europe. But I need to go and see some of the sites, I hope, that I can get out here, force myself to do that kind of stuff, because it'll be worth my while, I'm sure. I do appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. This is a great place. If you're looking for a spectacular view in Luxembourg, I think I just found one. Check that out behind me. It's an amazing looking place. And look, they got a glass floor that you can walk on if you're not afraid of heights. Beautiful little town down there, a little village. Luxembourg proper is up there in the old town. I like it a lot. I'm glad I found it. Well, there's something to be said about walking down these pedestrian streets in between all the cafes. I'm totally spoiled for choice. It's not like you can do that anywhere in the world. You can do that in most places in Europe, but it's pretty nice. I haven't done it in a while, and it's a definite welcome change so many things to see, so many things to do, so many menus to look at, so many cool cafes. I think, oh, you know what, maybe I'm going to have a wine, maybe I'm going to have a beer, maybe I'm going to have this pastry, maybe I'm going to have this and that. I absolutely have no idea what I'm going to do next. But it is nice looking around, enjoying my time while I'm walking about the place. Dickish is a local beer made here in Luxembourg. So here I sit in the cafe, just chilling a little bit, and I'm gonna have to try one of these local beers and see what they're like. That's really good. And it tastes like more. <laughs> awesome. What a great day to be out. Well, like everywhere in Europe, you can find churches and cathedrals just about anywhere. Luxembourg is no different than any other place. Here's one here, but I just happened to come walking past. So I'm not sure which one this is, if it's a, if it's a famous one or if it's not a famous one. But my suggestion to me is, let's go inside and check it out. You never know what you're gonna find. Well, now that's pretty cool, and it's pretty beautiful. Now, from what I read, this, place, this building dates back to 1663. That's been here for a long time. It's pretty nice, and it was actually nice to run into this stuff, because I was just walking down the street, as you see me doing right now. Yeah, I was just walking down the street, as you see me doing right now, and I just walked past this thing, decided to go in. Be ashamed just to have walked by and not gave it any respect, right? Well, the more I walk around, the more things I find. This is pretty cool. Nice uh, village down here. Luxembourg is the city proper is up there. This village runs through the river down here. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm standing now atop of what was once an old castle, an old garrison. This was actually built in the 900s, believe it or not, 963. Not 1963. No, not 1863, 1663, or even 1263. 963. Incredible, man. This place is so old and it's huge. There's a big area here that I'm going to explore. Pretty awesome. Even this alone is pretty cool. But they have a bridge over here that's going into the town next. And that was built in 1735. Beautiful place, man. Luxembourg's pretty awesome. Kind of one of those hidden gems that nobody really comes out to visit or nobody thinks of maybe but it is a pretty cool place to come if you ever have the chance small it's quaint day trip awesome well behind me 
is that town that I was looking at earlier when I was in that uh, glass uh, enclosure. That's right behind me. You can see there in the distance. Now this town is actually quite old. This here building, it doesn't really look that old, that was built in the 1700s. And that train trestle over there, the trains are still using today. Right now, a train just passed over a few minutes ago. That was built in 1859. It's still standing and it's still being used. It's pretty awesome. But just to walk around here, and standing on a garrison that was built before the year 1000. It's pretty cool, man. I enjoy it. Luxembourg's pretty cool. Well, as I probably mentioned before, this uh, train trestle behind me, built in 1859. Still standing over there. Pretty awesome looking. I like it a lot. And it's a great little walk down here. Beautiful views. Lots of nature. Lots of cool information as we pass here. The only problem is it's all in French and German. So I can't understand anything, but it's a beautiful place to take a walk. Loving it, man. You know, there's a lot to be said about the, the beauty of, of Luxembourg. I'm quite surprised because nobody ever mentions it. You don't hear about it that often. It's a pretty cool place to come. There's a lot of nature here. For such a small place, a population of 600,000 or less, it's got a lot of nature. And it's got a nice city. It's got a really nice old town. It's got a lot of historical value. It feels so safe. You don't see any police. You don't see any armed police. Although there's security and there's cameras everywhere, but you don't feel it. It just feels very, very peaceful. And it feels very natural. I like it a lot. And it's such a beautiful day to enjoy it. That was a day. I appreciate you guys coming along. It was really great. Enjoyed what I seen. It was amazing. Luxembourg's a pretty cool place to see. But now, I'm in the hotel. And uh, I'm gonna take a chill, man. I'm gonna have a glass of scotch. A nice 30-year-old single malt scotch. And uh, I'm gonna call it a night. Cheers. Hey, my peeps. It is the morning. I have rented one of these bikes here in uh, Luxembourg and I'm going to blast off and I'm going to go get myself some local breakfast and see what today brings because today's going to be a short day for me because I'm leaving today but uh, that's why I got a bike to get myself around. Awesome. <laughs> Cappuccinos. And I've got a nice breakfast bowl, a super bowl full of all kinds of really good things. As you can see there. And of course I got myself an avocado toast. This stuff is amazing. I'll leave a link in the description below on this place. And it's a fantastic place to go. If you ever come to Luxembourg, this is probably one of the good, best places you can have a good breakfast. After that hangover from the morning before. Well, this is probably one of the best places I found for breakfast here in um, Luxembourg. It's called Ready. You really need to go and try to find this place when you're in Luxembourg because it's really, really good. It's just off the beaten path, down, down a couple of little side streets. They got a really nice place to sit and chill, especially when the weather's nice like it is today. So anytime you get a chance, man, come on over here for breakfast. It's amazing. rental bikes are totally awesome. I love them. You just use your app, put your information in the app, you come over here, you 
scan whatever bike you want to use and away you go you're riding and the nice thing about these that I didn't actually know until I started riding one is they're electrically electrically assisted so going up because Luxembourg here has got a lot of hills and a lot of terrain and I thought geez you know there's a lot of hills around here it's gonna be hard to ride a bike but because of the electrical assistance it's so simple really really nice gotta help it man. walking here in the back streets of Luxembourg and the little pedestrian streets and alleyways and stuff it's pretty awesome actually it's nice to see it's very safe I've been here for more than 24 hours I've only seen one cop and uh, it's a cop with a gun normally you go to different countries and you see cops with guns everywhere you know what I mean it's just it's normal pretty much you come to expect it but here uh, I haven't seen any yet which says a lot for this place because it's a very safe vibe it's a very safe feeling it's very comfortable. It's, it's kind of a nice change from what I'm used to. 